Okay, in this video it's just a kind of follow-up to the um, DIY uh, CF Express card where people have kind of asked me what the speeds are like on it and you know how it kind of holds up against other cards. So I thought what I'll do is um, I, I can put it in and I'll just kind of show you a couple of the, um, the things you can kind of do on it. So in video mode on this, like I say, the most intensive kind of mode I can run it through really is the ProRes uh, 5.7K and I've found on it, I, I've not um, not filled the whole card on it, but you know, generally I can just kind of let it go, Just I'll just move that around just so you can see that I can get a playback on it and once it's done, you know, it's just immediately written to the card and you can see we've got sound the the videos there I'll start moving the camera here look so it's all there it's playing back fine and like I say that that is the most intensive video mode I've got and then the other kind of test I can do on it is just a burst test so um, I'm in the highest burst mode on this camera which is the GH6 um, I can do 200 shots on this and I'm just in manual so I'm just basically bursting a blur but <laughs> you'll get the idea so um, this is with the DIY card, so we'll hit burst, and once it stops, I'll just um, see how long it takes to buffer all those images. Okay, and go. And then if we hit that, you can see it's it's right in the mirror. It writes them as soon as um, as soon as that kind of buffers hit, but the um, it doesn't show you until you uh, you try and do something. So I I, I can already see it uh, around that kind of. Um, that kind of speed we're probably looking at about a minute 20 ish for, for this to finish so um, we'll just kind of let it go through and then uh, to kind of test it against um, I've got the uh, the 128 gig Lexar which this is actually the one that came originally with the camera so it's quite a good one to test it again so this was sort of the, the recommended card when it when it came out so um, next up we'll we'll take this one out put this one in and we'll just see roughly how they sort of sit against each other speed wise so the um i think i mentioned in the other video that the actual card case that i've used does throttle the speed ever so slightly of the drive that i've got but i'm, I'm confident that it should be you know pretty much uh matching this card so we'll kind of um get to the end of this and we'll see how they uh how they sit against each other we're almost there, not far off what I was thinking. Okay, so about a minute 23, minute 22. So we'll reset that. We'll take this card out. Let's just quickly go into playback actually and just check that we've got it there. So we've got the camera group. You can see all of those images are there. They've all been written okay, so that's good. And then we will just swap the card over quickly. So we take this one out, we'll put the Lexar card in. And again, we'll just do a 200 burst and then hit play. So again, it's an even test. We've got 200 images for each one, so we'll kind of see see where we're at at the end of this. And like I say, the um, if if you are planning on making one of these cards, um, you know, I'll, I'll link to the video if um, if you don't know what I'm talking about. But um, the, there are faster cases than than the one I've used here. So potentially, you know, you might want to look into um, into other cases. It's like there are other options there. This is just the the one that I'd sort of got because I I feel like for you know for my needs it, it's going to work just fine. But um, I appreciate you know if you're using different cameras that use CF Express cards, you've probably got larger burst modes. You've probably got bigger um, video resolutions that you can shoot and possibly even more. Uh, you know bigger bigger video codecs that you can kind of shoot in as well so um, yeah just kind of do do a little bit of research and just check that the card that you get is going to be up to um, up to what you need I think this looks like it might come in just ever so slightly quicker than the other one possibly yeah so there's a few seconds in it basically so you know we're not really that far out for that burst that took um, 
we were saying about um, really that's there one 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 eighteen one nineteen to one twenty two to one twenty three. So you know we're we're a few seconds out between the two cards. So there's really not a not a great deal there. And I'm confident with this card. You know I've I've shot really um, lots. I've shot lots of video on this. Done lots of burst photos and. I've not had an issue with it so at the moment the way these two are um, kind of shaping up is quite good and from the video that I've shot so far this card doesn't seem to have um, you know got too hot at the moment um, I've not gone too intensive on it yet but um, you know I've not had the fan coming on on the camera or anything like that so so far so good and um, yeah that that's it really it was just to kind of show you a quick comparison of, of um, those two cards so if you found this helpful, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.